In this week's challenge, your task was to create a collectible coin that can disappear and increase the player's score when collected. So for the question, which node is best used to detect if a player collects the coin? A, Sprite, B, Area 2D, or C, Canvas Layer? Hopefully you got it right. The correct answer is B, Area 2D. Now let's take a look at why. So we have a player and we have a coin. And the question is, how do I get my player to move to the coin and then actually collect it? How do I get the coin to detect if a player hit it? Well, in Godot, conveniently enough, our player will most likely be a body. Now, in Godot, we also have another node called Area2D. This node is very nice and convenient for this exact task. Our task is essentially as the coin to detect if a body or a player touches the coin. Now, an area 2D is essentially exactly that. It is an area that is 2D that will trigger or do something if a body enters it. Now, how do we do this though? Well, we use signals. A area 2D has a specific signal called body entered signal. Now, this signal specifically is very useful for what we want. Well, because our player is going to be a body and we want to detect when the body of the player enters this area. And if it does, it will send off this signal. Well, how does it work though? Well, when it does actually enter the signal or the area of the area 2D, the signal will be triggered and it will send off a signal. But the question is, where does it send that signal? Well, it sends it to a script. Usually we have to connect it and we'll see how we can do that in a minute. But that is the essential idea. Once the signal is triggered, it will send that signal to a script. And in that script, we can write code and actually do something with the signal. So let's take a look inside of Godot and see how we can implement this. All right. So in Godot, what we're going to do here is we're going to add a few things. First, we'll add a static body and we will add a collision shape. Now, this will be our floor. On the top right, we'll go to shape, rectangle, zoom out and drag this out. And this will be our floor. So this is the floor that we can actually use. Now, if we hit play, you might not actually see the floor. Now I see it because in my debug mode, I uh, have visible collision shape on. All right. So that is why, in case you're wondering, next up to create a very simple character body or player movement with platformer, I'll rename this to player and I will add a collision shape and I simply add a capsule. Now, what I'm going to do here is simply add the template character body and we can do built in create and we don't have to do anything. It's already done for us. Now, if I hit play, you will see that my player moves around. All right. So that is our player. Now, next up is our Apple or our coin, essentially. Now, if you recall, we talked about area 2D. So the base of this will need to be an area 2D. Now, what we can do is we can rename this if we wanted to, to coin. We can add a collision shape. And we can, of course, give it a sprite, but I will just leave it right here. I will give it a collision shape of a circle, and this will be our coin. Now, this will need a script, so we'll add a script that is not built in. And in here, I'll just delete the code for now. And now, if you remember, in my coin itself, I need to go to the node property on the top right, go to the signals and connect the body entered signal. So make sure it is the body entered signal. I will double click this, connect it to the coin itself. Here we go. And now what we need to do is check to see what body is connecting. Now, there's many ways to do this, but one way I like to do it is simply say if body uh, dot name is equal to player. Now, this definitely is not the recommended way. Um, in fact, actually, one thing I'll suggest is to look up is in group. This is a great function, but you will need to find a video about groups, which I have. Uh, maybe I'll link it down below. So go check that out. But regardless, continuing on. So now that we know the body that entered the area is the player. Well, what do we do? Well, here we can say self dot Q free. So that will destroy the coin itself. But of course, we might also want to increase a score. Now, score depends on where I'm storing that score, right? So maybe I'm putting the score in the player. So if I am, so I can say score is zero. 
then I can go into the coin and I can get the body itself actually and say body dot score plus equals one and that's it. Now just to make sure that this works we can print the body dot score right after just to make sure that it went up by one. Now if I hit play and I enter that thing it will destroy itself and now we have the score to one. So there we go. That is essentially our coin. Now, if you want to add animation and stuff like that, definitely do that. Uh, I have some videos on how to do that on animated sprites, animation player. I have many videos on those. So go check those out on my channel and hopefully I'll see you guys around. If you guys like this video, definitely uh, consider subscribing, like, comment and share the video. Um, and I also have an email list down below that is specific to uh, this challenge and many other challenges that I have. Essentially, every Sunday, I send out a weekly challenge uh, where I give a suggestion on how to implement something. And then I give you the solution the following week and then give you another challenge. So I've been doing this for, uh, I think it has been 25 weeks now. So it's been a while. So definitely check that out. Uh, the link will be down below and hopefully I'll see you all there.